featherweight division fight. So here we go, round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. It's a good right hand right there. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though, DC. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. All right, he closes the disc. Oh, now going to the judo throw. And he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound, or he can chase submission. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Massive head kick. Nice punch by Lee. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Big kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. Big left hand there inside. Oh. 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 He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Left hand punch from the clinch. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big elbow. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Caught that. Oh, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Oh, right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. That was a thudding leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Over and over. You can
come up, you go down. Enough to take down win. Back to his feet. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands yet. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low, and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh! Oh! Bring up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Down. Oh, he hurt. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh! oh body shot, John. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, he got him! He got him! Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Ground and pound strike there now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact Fight's over! He's done, he's done! Woo! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. 